Hi guys, welcome in and welcome back. I am Stay Stace and I have joined the swap over on Facebook to create a whimsy jar, but not any whimsy jar. It had to be in a Halloween theme. So this is the jar that I selected. This is, I believe, a recycled pickle jar. I have cleaned it well and then I wiped it down really well with some alcohol on the inside and the outside so far. And I have also taken some of this white acrylic paint and I used one of these little sponge dabbers and I created a cute little texture all around the jar which I think turned out nice y'all I don't know why but I was really 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 overthinking doing this jar I started off with alcohol inks and totally made this really cool effect but it wasn't the colors that I was going for so after a couple of days of looking at it I wiped it all off and started completely over so this is like I don't know take three and I'm really satisfied so far with how this one is turning out. I would love to do this alcohol ink technique again. It just didn't go with this project though. Okay, so after the white paint, I then used some matte Mod Podge just to go over that. And then I used some of this decorative twine and I went around maybe about four times around the jar and I didn't want this to move. So I also used the Mod Podge on top of the twine and I saturated it really well to get it stuck to the jar. And then I made this cute little double bow. This is still drying right now, but I attached it with some E6000. So far, this is what I have going on for the lid. I had this little cutie patootie candy corn in my stash looking like a Frankenstein. I had originally spray painted the entire top in gold. And then I decided I wanted it to be in this scruffy white, just like the jar. So I went in with the sponge dabber again, and I painted the top of the lid white. I then used E6000 to attach my little guy on top. And so he's not dry right now, so I have him setting. Also, so far, I've created this little jar jewelry. How cute is this? So I did use up some of my Hobby Lobby beads, and I also used some beads that have been in my stash I actually used more beads that were already in my stash and then I also added this cute little spacer bead here that I can add another charm or dangle off of which I will do okay so I have measured this appropriately and this fits right over my jar like that and so so far this is what the jar is looking like now, my original intent was to go in levels, so orange, green, and then yellow at the top, just like the little candy corn, but I don't think that it's going to work out quite like that with the items that I'm going to stuff in it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to put in this jar is some candy corn socks, and I want to wrap it away where I won't really see the tag. This is the bottom layer here. Yeah, I think that's cute already. Okay, it doesn't fit all the way around the jar, so I am going to see the tag. So I will probably add something, something over that. I don't know what yet. Okay, so that is going to be there. And then I want to arrange these cute little foam flowers on top. So that is what we'll be looking at. That's cute. Okay. So I'll start the orange right here, light green, orange, light blue, light green. See what that's like. Um, I'm also going to put some sequins in this syringe, and let's see. Yeah, I think that that fits perfectly. Okay, so let me fill up this syringe. I have already made this cute little sequins mix. Okay guys, so I did not consider that when I filled this syringe up with the sequins, then it was going to be so tall that it actually would not fit into the jar. So I took all of the sequins out, but I went ahead on and decorated it anyway. I have this drying. I do have hot glue on it just to hold it in place, but I also put some E6000 on it so it won't go anywhere. And I am going to try to maneuver this in my jar.
and I still want her to have the sequence mix. So I have this little candy piece, which I think will go great with all of the candy corn. Let's fill this up. I will put some tape on this. Okay, so that is my little sequence mix and I'll drop that right in the center. Okay, here is a bowl full of other goodies that I can stick in here. And I'm thinking about grouping some of these things together and adding them to bags. So it won't be quite a mess. Oh, I also made this cute little keychain, but I wanted something to dangle off of here. So let me grab something. Okay, I have added this cute little tassel on the end of this keychain. And let's drop it somewhere in the middle as well. Okay, now I have all of these little knickknacks right here. So let me grab some baggies. I was able to fill this little baggie with six Halloween wooden beads. A handful of wooden Halloween buttons. Several Halloween charms. Some styrofoam bones. It's not a Halloween party without some googly eyeballs. Glittery foam stickers. And let's see if I can just, I wanna keep them right in the center. Okay, all that fits nice. Let's try to arrange these flowers in here again. Okay, and I think now I can take maybe some of these bigger pieces. Just get them in here. And then now some of this little confetti, I have some beads, buttons, I'll just sprinkle that right on top. Let's see what else can fit in here. All right, that looks nice and full. I do want a little dangle off of here, so I'll work on that next. Okay, you guys, here is a final look at my Whimsy jar. I think that it turned out to super, super cute. I like the way all of the colors are flowing. Everything looks nicely for what is shown. And it is packed. So in here, we have packed a pair of socks, a syringe, a beaded keychain, and then a whole bunch of other little knickknacks. And that's what the Whimsy jar is all about. Just a little jar of cute little knickknacks that someone can possibly use in a project or just sit it out and let it look cute. I think that it turned out really, really nicely.
So this is the first jar that I created, but my partner informed me that we were swapping a smaller plastic jar from Dollar Tree. So if you watched part one of this video, then you'll see what I'm actually sending to my partner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave me a comment and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.